Well, this morning we are celebrating the year of the rabbit. Lunar New Year celebrations are underway right now, and if you're looking to celebrate with some delicious traditional dishes, we've got CMO of the delivery service Hungry Panda here with some great ideas. This is Eric Dew. Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Richie. All right, Eric, first of all, we're going to talk dumplings. What's the significance of dumplings to celebrate the Lunar New Year? Actually, the, for the dumpling in Chinese, uh, the pronunciation is uh, similar with uh, the jiaozi, is similar with jiaozi, which is uh, uh, a Chinese Asian money in China. And uh, you can sh look the shape of the dumpling. Mm. It's kind of similar with the Asian golden nuggets in China. So eating dumpling in Chinese New Year's mean the, means good luck and uh, good fortune for the New Year. Yeah, so it's good to eat a lot of dumplings, right? Yeah. A lot of good luck. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on. This is fascinating. It's very colorful. It's a type of fish. Can you tell us about this? And this is a highly respected uh, dish at the New Year's Eve dinner table, right? Yeah, sure. Actually, what I brought today for the dish place is called uh, squirrel fish is uh, deep fried and uh, is shaped like a squirrel and um, uh, in China we have a really uh, new year greeting thing uh, which is nian nian you yu uh, for the word yu in China uh, means be abundant and uh, surplus so eating the fish dish during the Chinese New Year so means uh, good luck and good fortune as well. Yeah. yeah. What's the sauce, the red sauce? Uh, it's more like a sweet and sour mm -hmm. sauce. Yeah, it tastes sweet and sour. Yeah. And what about the fish? What type of fish is that? Uh, it's the, the, like a koi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A koi. Yeah. Gotcha. And you said it's shaped like a coral. Yeah. Got it. I like it. I like how all of this brings you good luck. Thank you know, I think we should yeah. eat a lot of it, right? Yeah. Last but not least, I love the name of this, Eric. This is called the gluttonous rice balls. Please explain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the last dish we have here, I bet that most of the American friends might know very familiar with this. Uh, it is a gluttonous rice ball, um, which is also known as the um, sweet dumpling. And it's also called, we call it uh, yuan xiao or tang yuan in Chinese. So uh, for the tang yuan, the yuan uh, in Chinese means uh, reun reunion. And uh, uh, eating the tang yuan in Chinese New Year uh, means uh, um, togetherness and uh, the family reunions and uh, the best wishes in health. So during the new year, it's okay to be gluttonous, basically. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Right? Yeah. We usually associate gluttonous being a bad thing, but not in this case, right? So out of all three, which is you think the most popular and the most tasty? Uh, for the tasty, I bet uh, for the fish uh -huh. will be your favorite today, uh -huh. because uh, I, be I believe most of the American people like the sweet and sour. Uh, tasty. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I, for my personal, I also like this one best. You like the fish? Yeah. Yeah, the video we're watching shows just the beauty and the creativity of making these dumplings. You know, it's like an art form. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the most important thing is, of course, it has to taste delicious, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. 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 Eric, do you thank you so much for joining us. This was a lot of fun and very informational. Hopefully, people out there will maybe try this at home to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Thank you, Rishio. Thank you for having me here today. Our Happy pleasure. New Year. Happy New Year to you. Yeah. You can find this segment on our website, kcalnews.com. Just click on the Scene on TV tab, and we'll be right back.